pure corporate or securities lawyer working with investment funds or property developers, and you're tired of manually creating hundreds of investor agreements and chasing the signatures, I've made this video for you. Because in this video, whether you're creating SVP documents, subscription documents, amendment agreements, I'm going to show you how you can use a simple system to automate 95% of your manual workflow when creating all these volumes of documents. The system can create thousands of investor documents, send them for signature using DocuSign, track their status, and even save and rename the signed PDFs exactly the way that you like. Let me use David, a securities attorney, as an example. David is the principal of a boutique business offering in Sydney, Australia. And when David approached me, he needed to collect over 700 signature requests on restatement agreements to close a deal for his large property developer client. And the problem was that David had promised his client that signature requests would be sent out to investors within a week. He needed 700 of them. It was a monumental task because each document needed to be customized with names, addresses, property purchased, and many other details. David considered doing a mail merge by importing an Excel sheet inside uh, Microsoft Word. But the challenge is that Microsoft Word doesn't bulk upload all your documents to DocuSign for signature. And even if it did, the number of signers for each document varied. Some needed nine signatures, some needed 13 signatures. And to add insult to injury, if investors were using entities or their trust or their own personal money to invest and purchase those properties, the signature blocks they needed to use on the actual document were different. So what David wanted really was a system that would allow him to create his own document automated workflow from start to finish for all his future projects without the need to hire developers each time to set up a new automation for his bulk document creation campaign. And so after finding my YouTube videos, he booked a call with me and spoiler alert, we did end up sending 700 signature requests on time, even early, I think one day early actually. And let me show you how he did it. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Sophia. I was formerly with DocuSign, but now with SolarSign, we help corporate lawyers and investment firms automate investor-related paperwork. If you're interested in automated workflows where you need to collect lots of signatures from your investors, click the link below to book a consultation with one of our automation consultants. We'll help you strategize your workflow or your document workflow automation. But for now, let's just go back to how David used the system to send 700 signature requests to investors on autopilot. The first part of the process consisted of setting up his documents, his Word document as DocuSign templates with placeholders for the variable data, as well as setting up all the different pot potential signers in the template. Then we connected David's DocuSign accounts to our DocuSync platform. This platform makes automating signature workflows super easy and you can get a free trial at solisage.com forward slash DocuSync. You can find the link in the description just below as well. And using DocuSync's data import feature, we imported all investor-related information needed to create each personalized document. This file contained the names and emails of investors, whether they were using a trust and all that sort of stuff. Next, we marked the information we have just imported with the fields of our DocuSign templates. As you can see in this mapping table, the left column shows the list of DocuSign fields available in the DocuSign template. So all of these fields here, and to the right, it gives us the list of all the columns, all the fields that we have created as a result of importing the data inside of DocuSync. This is how documents will be generated and customized for each investor without doing any manual entry. It takes a few minutes to complete, but you only need to do it once. And this took care of David's first problem, which was to create hundreds of personalized documents. Because we can never be too cautious with automation, we wanted to show David that the information was merging correctly on the documents before sending them to investors. Thankfully, the DocuSync platforms allows you to preview draft documents before you send them. So let's preview this envelope before we send it. For obvious reasons, I'm not showing you the, the exact data, but as you can see, the postcode, the state, as well as the number of the street address is exactly the same in the document and inside of DocuSync, which confirms that the data is correctly being added to the document. So then we can hit send. That means less risk of sending documents with incorrect information. Now, the next problem was the number of signers that was variable. So one great thing about DocuSync is its hassle-free approach to handling any number of recipients. It doesn't matter how many signers. 
Say that you've got an envelope that has nine signatures and you've got another envelope that has 13 signatures. No problem. It just works. And so this is a game changer compared to uploading a CSV directly inside of DocuSign, where you have to stick to the same number of recipients inside of your CSV. Another major challenge in Davis workflow was handling different types of signature blocks in the document. In the past, this was a big headache because each type of signer, like an individual, a trust or a company needed its own unique signature block. This often meant having to create multiple templates, one for each scenario, which was super time consuming and complicated. But with DocuSync, we overcame this problem. The system identifies the type of signatures and automatically generates the correct signature block for them. To the left, this is what the signature block looked like for an individual and to the right for a company. And because DocuSync ensured that each document was prepared correctly with the appropriate signature block, it made the whole process so much more efficient thanks to dynamic signature blocks. And so by the time the signature blocks were generated, all the documents had already gone out. So the mission was kind of complete. David had succeeded, but that wasn't it. The system also allowed tracking the status of all the envelopes. You get a quick preview on the progress of each envelope using that little progress bar. But if David wants to see the status of each signer, he can open one envelope. For example, let's, let's just open this one. We can see here the list of all the recipients. And at one glance, David knows who has signed it and who hasn't yet. David can also see if a recipient did not receive the DocuSign email notification to sign a document. As you can see, investor to signer one has a status with autoresponded. And when this happens, what you want to do is to correct the envelope. Maybe the recipient has changed their email. And when this happens without DocuSync, you typically need to log inside of DocuSign, find the envelope, and then you can correct the envelope by clicking here and change whatever information you need to change. You can see here that it says autoresponded. So this mirrors exactly. So DocuSync mirrors exactly what's happening in DocuSync. But instead, you can do all that in DocuSync. First, I need to update the email address for that recipient. This is the field that contains the email address for that recipient. So I can just change that. And then once I'm done with this, I can go back to my list of envelopes. And then I can simply correct envelope. This will result in sending the updated email address to DocuSign. And this is exactly how you can manage all your DocuSign transactions all in one place without having to switch to DocuSign. And once the email address will have been updated with the correct one, the status of that signer will change from autoresponded to sent and then completed once that signer will have signed the document. The reason this is really cool is because it means that you don't need to update email addresses in two places, once in DocuSign, and once in the list of recipients, wherever you're storing, whether it's Excel or wherever else. You can also void and you can also resend lost envelopes from here, but I won't get into this today, those are small details. So let's summarize. At that point, David was able to create, send, track statuses for both masses of envelopes without doing any manual work and manage all the already sent envelopes without having to log into DocuSign. So what's next? What do you think happens when an envelope has been signed by all the investors? Very simple. Signed PDFs will get attached inside of DocuSync and a backup copy is also created inside of Google Drive. You see this? This is a Google Drive link. So it's just a copy, a backup copy. DocuSync support Google Drive, SharePoint, as well as Dropbox. And take a look at the name of the document. It's not generic, it is a variable. And that's because we are able to specify how the file is to be named. This means that all your legal documents get automatically the way that David likes or the way that you like. And this took care of David's last problem, the fact that the entire process beyond just creating and sending was very slow and manual. And the beautiful thing is that DocuSync allows you to easily create your own automated workflows with your Excel data by integrating DocuSign templates with your data and your cloud storage folders. You can mass generate, you can mass send, you can automatically track signatures. Once documents are signed, they automatically get saved and renamed. And you can also create your own automated workflow. So this is how David turned a very cumbersome process into something super efficient that's going to help him for all his future projects. If you're interested in learning more how you can automate your workflows using this system, you can use the link in the description of the video to book a strategy session with one of our document automation consultants. During this call, what you can expect is for us to review your document workflow and create a step-by-step -step implementation plan for your specific need. In the next video, I'll be showing you how you can send hundreds or even thousands of documents at once in just one click for signature by text 
and even WhatsApp. I'll see you there. Ciao.